Take us through the defensive effort throughout the fourth quarter and, of course, that overtime. And then, if you could, second to that specifically, talk about the play on fourth down that you made to, to seal the win. Uh, you know, uh, we didn't really change up our game plan. You know, we were giving up. Uh, first half, we gave up some plays that we shouldn't have. You know, we kind of, uh, when we got to the second half, we started making adjustments. And then as soon as we got to the fourth quarter, we were just rolling. We had so many stops. And uh, it was just a great week of preparation, you know. And uh, the, la the last play wasn't, I wasn't doing anything different, you know. The, the running back bounced to my side. I, I, do what my, I did what my coaches told me to do. I crossed face and made a play. And uh, it was a play that uh, ended the game and gave us a W. It was just a great play. We got a question right here. Julian, I was going to ask you about that too. The Arkansas, though, they they were, I guess, doing a lot of misdirection and running mm -hmm. away from the um, the strong side of the formation. Can mm -hmm. you talk about how you all eventually figured that out? Uh, you know, uh, it was just it was about eye control. Cause Sada always talks about eye control. You know, keep uh, keep your eye on your key. And uh, there were a couple times when you you, you saw in the big plays where. Uh, Nobody was covering a guy, you know. Uh, somebody, uh, uh, somebody uh, took their eyes off the key. But once we once we fixed that problem, and everybody was on the same page. Everybody was doing their job. You saw what we can do out there. We can stop one of the best rushing attacks in the country when we're all on the same page. Got a question on the left side aisle, Julian. After the way that last year went in the early part of the season, y'all's offense is always the conversation. Personally, for you, how how does it feel for the defense? To really be the story of this game, you know, it's a it's a team. Or, you know, where uh, Coach Sumlin said there's uh, three parts of the team: special teams, defense, and offense. You know, and uh, the coaches say it all the time. When uh, when one of your buddies is sick or somebody in your family is sick, it's uh, uh, it's the uh, it's the uh, it's the job of everybody else in the family to keep that person up. You know, there's times where we didn't have where we as a defense didn't have the good game. The offense carried us. Where the special teams wasn't really doing that good, and defense and the offense carried the special teams. And there's times when uh, our great offense isn't going to do as good as we expect them to do, and defense and special teams have to carry them. So, you know, we're a team, and uh, whenever somebody's down, uh, the other parts of the team have to pick them up. Be the final question for Julian. Julian, I know a lot of people have questioned y'all's schedule. Uh, do you feel like the three cupcakes that y'all played, did you, were y'all not quite as sharp for part of this game and had to get your legs under you? You know, Arkansas is a, Arkansas is a great rushing attack. You know, Arkansas is going to rush for a lot of yards against a lot of teams, you know. Uh, once we were all on the same page, it, it didn't really matter. You know, we we prepped the same for Alabama as we do for Lamar University. That might be that might be hard for people to understand, but we prepped the same, you know what I mean? Um, so when the bullets started flying, uh, we just we were resilient and we held in there. Okay, Julian, congratulations. We'll let you go back to the locker room. Thank you.